real quick. This is just going to be a quick birthing video. We've got a heifer here that has lost her mucus plug and she's starting to crown a little bit. So about to have a calf on the ground here in a minute. So I'm going to flip around and show you what's up. got the resident cow expert over here Thanks for coming in. checking her out but i mean how far is how long has she been like this uh, 30 minutes yep you got that row yep i know i'm kind of feeling like at this point maybe we should just go here hey mama single choke yeah there under Yep. And then again. And then another one, so just double them. Over. Right, my wrist is that joint we're going to pull. Because what I did, I only pulled here, and he couldn't walk for a week. I had to pick him up. Got it. Every day. Yeah, we can do that. She's like, I worked hard, man. Little bull. I'm gonna make you famous. <laughs> Only the back of your head. Well, okay, okay, back of the head. She's camera shy. Thank you, neighbor, very much. Thanks for being over the chains. Thanks. Thanks for getting a little gooey with us. Appreciate it. Yeah, we got them on speed dial. They're right there, a couple hundred yards away. They got all that fancy calf pulling stuff. So, yeah, we just do it the dumb hard way with uh, hands or, I guess, a rope or whatever. But. She's birthed. How, how many have you personally calved over there with your animals? About 20. About 20, and yeah. then previously in your life? I, yeah, I grew up on a cattle operation, about 300 mama cows. So. There you go. So that's why I called her. You know, when I was a kid, grew up across the street from a dairy I worked at some and played and pulled. And, but it was never my responsibility, so I didn't have to look and go, hmm, it's time, right? So. That's why they're here. So thank you guys again. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. We'll see you all. All right. Oh, look at that. Now she's acting like a mom. Hey, you just discovered your calf. Good job. <laughs> We're three and two. Three and two. Three heifers, two bulls.
All right, so here we are, fast forward about five weeks since we started calving. And I just want to show everybody out there, you know, what we ended up with. And I'm really happy. We got 11 for 11. Uh, Bruno didn't miss. He got every one of these girls and they gave us just some beautiful calves. So I'm going to show you what we got. Oh, by the way, we had, we had six bull calves and five heifers. So let's just uh, take a quick look at it. All right, beautiful. But see this juvenile grass, look what happened. Got uprooted. So this is some really poor soil here. Just a perfect example of how destructive it is to get on your grass too soon. We've been trying to keep them off as much of this as we can, but you know, it's spotty. So we're working on it. At any rate, let's look at these cats. We got my dog out here with me, Alcona. So they definitely, have their attention on her. They're just some really good looking animals. Just about five weeks start to finish. We did pull two. We did pull two. One was probably our fault. It got all, she got super stressed out. And, you know, the calf was in a lot of distress, so we decided to pull. And, um, and the other one, she just gave up. She just labored too hard. So I'll show you here, finding that the, the fraternal, excuse me, the maternal genetics are strong. <laughs> They're strong. Now, we definitely see a lot of our bull in these guys, but there's some, I mean, at least especially color. I mean, some of these came out just absolute carbon copies of their mom. So really beautiful calves. I can match most of them up. I'm gonna show you this. Her Let's look at this Hereford Red Angus Cross cow. She's, uh, I think, four now. And this is her bull calf. Just an absolutely stunning little guy. He is absolutely beautiful. He's got a frosted tip on his tail. He's got little frostings on his ears, which so does his mom. That calf right there, I think, is only about eight or nine days old. And he's big and he's happy and he's healthy. And look at the condition on this cow. She is so fat. I was petting her today when she was taking water from this new little water setup I made. And uh, she's got at least an inch of fat on her back and her ribs. I've always thought, and a lot of people also say, that that cow is too fat. But I can promise you, we're not feeding her anything but grass. And hay in the winter. So, And she looks like that. Unbelievable. I'm over the moon with her condition, the rest of the herd, they're just looking stellar. Let's look at some of these moms, you know, they're, they're already cycling back. We have a girl, 970, she started cycling back at about 26 days. So, I mean, our bull started going wild and he was trying to ride her and we had to get her out. And, and uh, most of these girls are, are starting to. So here's the newest addition. This little fella here, excuse me, this little heifer here is four days old. She's just a peanut. You go ahead and compare her to her half brothers and sisters and they are literally twice her weight. They've been gaining like crazy. She's a, she's a little gangly compared to some of these steers. Excuse me, compared to some of these bull calves. That is a good white face you got there. Look at that. You're living the good life. You're just covered in cream and milk, aren't you? Now that's a heifer. She's a beautiful little thing. She's got a big navel tab. But she's uh she's good looking boy. I'm trying not to bore you with too many, but I just want to show you the condition of these animals. 991, she's one of our most recent to calve. And then 511 here was the last. She's a blonde. You can see they're starting to pick up a few flies. So, but you know, these things are just absolutely doing phenomenal. Look at that, that bull calf right there. He's just put together. They're good looking animals.
So that's it from us. Thanks again here from the ranch. We'll see you in the next one.